Welcome to episode number three of the New World Podcast. Today, we're going to discuss why having a microchip in your brain will make you lose in life. So I'm talking about the Neuralink microchip. So if you're just tuning in right now, my name is John Paul Flores. I'm the host of the New World Podcast. So in this podcast, we're actually talking about the new things, the new news, what's coming about in the new world. So I'm a pretty young guy. I'm not even in my 20s. So my share about this topic is purely on how I think it would affect me in the future and how it would affect the majority of people in the future and not the people that are currently working right now who's going to be replaced by AI. I don't care about any of that. That is not the world that I'm living in. We are going to be living in the new world. So why microchip people will be more dumb? So and this is not an insult. Yes, it is an insult actually. So here... You see, because, you know, a lot of people say, you know, having a microchip in your brain will make you superhuman, will make your brain process a hundred times faster, a thousand times faster. Well, I do agree on that behalf that it would make uh, make your brain much, much faster. You know, there's still a lot of factors that comes in. So, yeah, we established that microchip makes you smarter. I mean, genuinely. If you have the ability to research everything in your brain uh, in the future, although this technology will not come for many more decades in the future, the technology that we have right now is more on the side of helping people that are paralyzed help them basically move. Why? Because it can set neurons, patterns into your brain that you know other technologies just cannot. So Elon Musk, a uh, great guy, actually gave this technology to the world just because he wants to help people and wants to be in front of AI. But let's talk about this. In the future, let's say in 3 to 30 to 50 years in the future, uh, maybe we can create a super brain microchip. So basically something you can put in your brain just like what you have in games like a cyberpunk future. So makes your brain faster makes you scan your surroundings, basically makes you superhuman. Your brain a hundred times faster, smarter, and how would you feel if you have that, by the way? I mean, if I have that technology right now, I'll be crushing it. I'll be crushing it. I'll be working 24-7, although most of the ideas that I will have is not that original because I would not have the time to think. Because for great things to be built, for a great house, for a great mansion to be built, you need to have space, a great space of land. So if you have no mental real estate, if you have no space in your mind, if your mind is always working, just like what Neuralink will make you do, then most of the ideas that you're going to think about and you're going to take action with is purely done before, which is, you know, no creativity over there. So you won't be able to think genuinely. Let's move to the next chapter. So, you know, microchip makes you much faster, much more connected to the world, especially in the future. If you have that technology that basically allows you to connect with different people. So basically, if you don't know why I'm talking in circles here, I have a presentation that I have on YouTube. I think it's going to be shown on YouTube, but in podcast, streaming podcast. Or if you're listening to this in Google Podcasts or Apple Podcasts, otherwise you're able to upload an Apple Podcast, the point stands that you won't be able to see the presentation. So if you want to see the presentation that I created, spend time on this, even though I don't have to. I just want to show you the visual work that I created. So you can head to YouTube and watch this podcast there. And while you're there, please follow and subscribe on my YouTube channel. So technology, what does what is brain chip? Basically a phone. It's basically a phone that's connected to your brain 24-7. Always working, always, you know, always there whenever you need it. It's basically a phone, it's basically an iPad, it's basically a laptop. So what does this give us? It gives us access to information, access to the internet, access to limitless possibilities that King 100 years ago doesn't have. So basically, the more access you have on technology, the more chance you are on having access on anything that you have ever, ever wanted. Every piece of information, every piece of knowledge, uh, you can call people a thousand miles away and just and talk to them in real time. That's how great technology is. 
and I'm not going to discredit that. It's awesome. Allows me to work from home as a under 20 years old kid and make money online. But access to technology also gives you access to, you know, some other things. The things that are not that pleasant. The things that makes you distracted. The things that, you know, basically make, makes you weak. You know, access to information. There's still, you know, everything is a two-sided sword. Yin and yang. So there's a good side and a bad side. And obviously, some people like me. If you give me access to a phone, if you give me access to a laptop, and you lock me inside the room for 10 years, I'm coming out rich. So that's what I'll do. I'll study. I'll work, I'll sleep, I'll study, I'll work, I'll sleep, I'll study, I'll sleep, I'll work. It's what I do, it's who I am. But when you place somebody else inside the room with a phone, with a laptop, and you go back, you know, go back to them 10 years in the future, you're just gonna see them, their brain is rotting. Why? Because all of them are just scrolling endlessly on their phone, watching TikTok, watching TikTok, watching TikTok. I reels, reels, I reels, I reels. That's what most people do. Not even talking about the people who are 15 years old, 12 years old. No, even the older guys. I've seen it. I'm sure you've seen it. A lot of people that are 25 years old, 30 years old, 40, some even 60 years old are using technology not to be, you know, not to have access and less information, but to basically play games. Uh, Act social media, do dumb shit. Some even watch porn, which is you know I do not condone. And let's move on. So this access information gives you choice. Give you a choice. Give you different choices that you can make. You can either go on the right side or the left side. I don't care on which side you go. I don't care. You can go on the side where you'll use that access to technology as a leverage you'll study things you'll study different subjects that you're interested in and you think would benefit you in real time or you can use it to play games watch tiktok watch youtube consume 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 instead of producing something that is actually meaningful which is what you should be doing right now and if you have access I mean, if you have access to information and you chose the path towards being distracted, towards watching YouTube, watching TikTok, what will happen? Well, you're basically sitting on a train, going to a house you hate because you can't afford anything, but you have a microchip, so everything's okay, and you're just gonna look like this. <laughs> so for people who haven't been able to see that basically i just stared in front of the screen and left why because that's what access gives you when somebody have access to a microchip what will they do they will just watch tiktok endlessly on their brain laughing their guts out they won't do anything valuable to the world i mean look at us now i mean technology no matter how great it can become in the future no matter how great the things we can achieve, we are still human. Majority of us, majority of the human population, when they get access to technology, they go to the path of distraction. So what will happen? So what will happen? Probably you. You, you you're, you're going to be distracted. Me, I'm not going to be distracted. I'm going to be working. I mean, if I even get this technology in the first place, which I'll doubt I'll be getting because I'm a Muslim and I don't want any advantage in life, which others don't have. I want to play, you know, fairly. Fairly. I didn't earn that technology. Uh, that's not great. But, if, you know, uh, if you're <laughs> if you a bit of a god and you have one of these in your brain, what will you do? Will you actually... You know, be using this into your advantage, which I'll doubt you probably won't, or not. You know, because there's a lot of things you can do with a microchip like this. Uh, while sleeping, you can, while laying down in bed, you can email. Probably in the future. 
you can email using your brain, you can talk with different people, you can even maybe talk with multiple people, you can do tasks that you won't be able to do. I mean, even the people who are uh, can't walk, paralyzed people, will be able to walk again. So it's great technology. And I do hope that after you hear this, you'll go on the path where you actually benefit from this kind of things. You're watching my podcast, you're listening to my podcast, so I immediately like you, so I'm biased. Oh, choice. You have a choice. What is choice? Choice in its act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities, like the choice between good and evil. But, you know, within the web, we have millions of different choices, things we can do. When you have a microchip in your brain, you have and access to millions, billions of information out there, billions of choices. But most can be characterized into main things. Two main things, nothing more. It's either beneficial for your life or a distraction. Beneficial or distraction. What is it? Let me just turn this. So yeah, distraction or beneficial. So you have millions of choices, millions of video, millions of videos out there, millions of blogs, millions of posts, millions of games, millions of things, and most of them is either good or evil. Most of them are just merely a distraction and merely a benefit into your life. Let's say you go to YouTube. You have a choice. You have to a choice on either you're gonna go and find something that would benefit your life, something beneficial. Let's say you're starting to be an accountant. Instead of watching YouTube videos that is basically, you know, not beneficial for you. Dumb shit. People doing pranks. People uh, people commenting on Twitch channels or whatever people do in YouTube or TikTok. Instead of doing that, you should go to the choice where you can learn more. Maybe there's a guy, an Indian guy who's teaching you about accountancy, about tips and tricks on what you can do writing down things you're learning that's what beneficial content is that's a choice that you should make but if you go to the choice that is a distraction to your life what will you get after watching tens if not thousands of hours of this dumb degenerate shit what will you get in your life nothing you'll get nothing uh, maybe you'll get dopamine but what will you have at the end it's just basically the worst possible attention span in the world. You won't be able to leave your house without your phone or you're basically gonna convulse. You're gonna go crazy. You need to have your phone. You're an iPad kid. You're merely a distracted person. You're a Roman person watching the Colosseum while Rome is going to the ground. It's falling. Yet there's people who use this same type of technology that you also have an access to to make themselves better, smarter, more clever, more equipped. Most of them, some of them, I mean most are going to the distraction part of things because we're humans. We're supposed to chase dopamine. That's how your brain is wired. Some people, they choose to go to benefits. They choose to study watching these hour-long videos about how to do a certain thing. How to set up Facebook ads, how to uh, build a website, how to do accounting, how to do uh, calculus. These things that will benefit their current life. They choose this. Some of them, some of them choose this. And I hope you do too. Because I like you, because you're watching this. Bias. Bias. So here, you can see in the photo, if you can't see the photo, it's because it's your fault. You're not watching on YouTube. Not my fault. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah, you can see here, the photos is just people being distracted with their phones. With their phones. And what are they doing? They're playing games. They're texting. They're communicating with other people. Talk about things that are not important in their life. Not even important in their family's life. Not even beneficial on the slightest level. They're being distracted. They're looking at things that won't benefit them or benefit the world. They consume, consume, consume. They're a consumer. 
they don't produce anything. They're just another cog in the machine. Just another, what they call this, uh, NPC. Non-playable character. Their life, if told as a story, have no hero. Their life is basically just an empty summarization of a life not worth living. Which is sad. Why are you spending 80% of your whole life looking at a screen that doesn't care about you? Looking at a screen, spending 80% 80 hour, 80 of your life, let's say on 24 hour day, 12 hours of that or 10 hours of that is spent on a screen. Most people are 10 hours. How many is that in a year? That's 10. That's 33,650 hours in a single year. You know what you could have achieved by that? You could have been a millionaire. You could have been a better father, a better kid, a better parent, a better student, a better teacher, a better doctor, a better accountant. But what are you doing? Spending your time on the phone. You're a better consumer. You're a better nothing. You're a better worm. You're a better loser. Don't be like that, man. Believe in you. Or be better. <laughs> so will they choose to be distracted or to use technology on their benefit? Well, I use technology on my benefit. And by the way, the reason that I am able to do this podcast, actually I'm planning on doing podcasts five times a week. She's crazy. I know I'm a busy person. But yeah, I'm gonna be able to do that because I use AI tremendously on my business. I have all of it automated. Use of technology on my benefit. <laughs> Don't even use my phone. I mean, if you look at my screen time, I bet it's under two hours. And the most of those two hours are just music. Yeah, so in the photo here, we have yin yang. We have Stones are perfectly balanced. We have a two-edged sword. So basically, what will you choose? Will you use this technology, who, which as a whole is neither good or evil? Will you choose it to be evil? Will you use it for evil or will you use it for good? Will you use it to be a consumer or will you use it to be a producer? Will you use it to be a NPC or be the hero? Will you use it to be a better father or worse father? Will you use it to be a better citizen or a worse citizen? Will you use it for your own benefit or for your own demise? It is your choice. Nobody else's. And you know, you'll be distracted. No, television, phone, it's a weapon of distraction. But some people, the outliers, few people, people maybe 10 percent 20 percent use this technology to reach more people to produce more to be a better person to achieve more in life to be a producer they won't get distracted they use technology on their own advantage as you should because it's a tool it's a tool it's like a hammer you use hammer to build things but most of you use a hammer so make yourself dumber. Why? Well, you constantly just hit your head. Make yourself more dumb, 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 dumb. It's basically the same effect. And after spending thousands and thousands of hours in your phone, I mean, you're no better off than just smashing a hammer in your head 24-7. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're going to build the house. Are you going to be building a mansion with technology, with a hammer? Or are you going to be smashing your head every single day with a hammer? It's your choice, man. It's yours, not mine. It's not your father. It's not your mother's choice. It's not your friend's choice. You, can, you can't wake up in the future and say, Ah, oh, they distracted me. It's not my fault. Uh, they used this television. They used this microchip as a distraction for me. Uh, it's their fault. No, you can't do that. So There's going to be some people who... Even though have the same amount of distraction available to them, they didn't choose to be distracted. They chose to use this supposed to be distraction for their own benefit, which as you should do, as I said. Or will you choose to be one of those who use this time 
of no competition to win. So let's go back to that time of no competition. What am I saying? Time of no competition. Well, the field, I mean, if you look at the bright side of technology, so I said there's going to be a lot of distracted people, there's going to be less competition in anything. <laughs> there's less competition. Why? Because they're all distracted. They're all distracted. What, when the people of Rome is all in the Colosseum, watching some people, watching gladiators kill each other, I'm sure there's some people out there uh, farming. There's some people farming. There's some people growing their business, growing their empire. And they were able to do so because they have virtually no competition, just like you have today. Also, the people that you're talking to are either addicted to porn, addicted to their phone, addicted to TikTok, addicted to YouTube Reels, addicted to things that does not matter. It's addicted to distraction. And some people are not. Some people like me. Some people like probably you because you're listening to this and, and we've been in this for 21 minutes. You're probably going to be using this for your own advantage. You know? And... As the space, as the, I don't know how to say this, as the space between the distracted people and the people who use AI for their own advantage, technology for their own advantage, grows bigger and wider, the benefits of it also grows wider. Why? Because the more people who consume and the more you produce, the more value you provide to the world and the more value the world gives to you. The more money you'll make, the more people the the more people the more people who are distracted, the higher the benefit is for the people who aren't. <laughs> now, if there's only a hundred people in the top and there's a million people at the bottom, well, let's just say life is better. Life will be better, as they say. I don't know who said this. I think it's a Roman general. Uh, let me just Google this for you because I want to be informative. Quals and users suffer. Let me just search this. Let me just wait. Uh -huh. Yeah, so basically the winner takes... The winner do whatever they want and the loser suffers as they must. So if you're going to be the one, one of those people who are going to be distracted, just pray to God that the people like me on the top in the future will be nice to you. So now, well, it's going to be up to us. It's going to be up to those people who are in the top to either be nice to you or not. It's their choice. They carved the throne so they must sit in it. They carved the throne while you are watching the TikTok videos that they produced. You are reaping the benefits of the things that they created, but you use it as your own demise. Don't do that. For the future, you won't have a choice. You won't have a choice. Either you're going to follow their orders or not. You won't have. Because you're going to be depending on them, especially with AI right now. If you're basically jobless, if you have no worth in this world, you provide no value because an AI can do what you do, then you must, you know, act nice. You must follow the orders of the people who are controlling this AI because if not, then you're screwed. Then you're screwed. You know, the great thing is we're still decades away from this kind of technology. But it is coming. It is inevitable. And uh, in around a decade, in five years, I'm sure around 20 to 30% of the job in this world will be basically erased, eradicated, will be worthless, will be useless because we already have AI. But this kind of technology uh, is still decades away. But you know, what's the gap between the rich and the poor comes wider I'm genuinely worried because the people the people who won't be able to escape the people who won't be able to elevate themselves to the 
in the top 1% or top 5% won't be able to escape in the future. So there's going to be no jobs. There's going to be so little opportunity. And I hope before this time comes, you will be able to escape along with me. And you're going to tell me in the future, hey, you're awesome. And we're going to uh, uh, do a high five because we were not one of those who have been fallen. We are the ones who rose up. And let's go to the next slide. Free will. You know, one thing I love about God, Allah, is He gives us free will. The choice. The choice is yours alone. So don't blame anyone. So don't blame me or your friend or your or your neighbor who was able to escape because you didn't because you were distracted. Don't blame us. You have the choice. You had that choice. You still have the choice right now. And it is time for you to choose, my friend. It is time. Will you take the blue pill or the red pill? <laughs> blue pill or red pill. Uh, like. And I do have a summarization of this whole thing. So, you know, if you're just listening right now, we will be able to basically, uh, you know, catch up. So why my trip people will be more dumb? Why people in the future who will get a microchip in their brain instead of being 10 times better will be worse. If we look at the human reaction when we got devices such as the phone and the computer, the majority of us, instead of using it to study, used it for stupid things such as watching YouTube videos and TikTok and what will people, other people do about stupid things. Along this brought endless possibilities and access to knowledge not accessible to a king a hundred years ago. Yet most of you use it not for your own benefit, but for your own demise. When you get a microchip in your brain, the majority of you will use it to distract themselves from their miserable lives, watching TikTok reels a thousand times faster than before and even harder to be more disciplined. Why? Because you have such easy access. At the end of the day, this future is inevitable and you do have a choice to make. You still have that choice to make. Will you be distracted or focused? Will you be the one who prosper or the one who to ends up the demise? Blue pill or red pill, the choice is yours and yours alone. What will it be, my friend? <laughs> so I think that's all the presentation that I have today. I mean, I certainly didn't expect for it to last 30 minutes. But, you know, I kind of got into a flow. Uh, I like it. I like this. I like having a podcast. It's nice. But I must stay professional. That's why I'm going to be ending this video very soon. Or this podcast, rather. Even though I still have a lot of opinions to say. It's because it's not part of the topic. So, let's keep that on a separate episode that you should watch for. By the way, uh... Upcoming episode right now is an interview with a good friend of mine, Samir, Samir man. So I think it's going to be released in two days. So this Thursday. So I think you should uh, put your notifications up. I think it's on premiere already. And yeah, have a nice day. Thank you for watching the New World Podcast. You are awesome. <laughs> oh, let's go in as well. Have a nice day.